One Wilshire originally was an office building. It was built in uh, 1966 as an office building and it was filled with primarily law firms. They started a transition early on to move the, the One Wilshire building from a pure office building into kind of a, uh, uh, you know, a telecom hotel was probably the early name for it. So now we're 70% data center in this building. GI partners hired Swanson Rink in order to help us with the master planning for the building and, and kind of have an, an idea and an end game in mind. And one of those was the cooling infrastructure. Swanson Rink came to us with a program that needed to address space constraints of an urban brownfield facility. One Wilshire is an iconic building in terms of global infrastructure. It's one of the most densely connected buildings in the world. We required more efficiency, more air, uh, more cool air out of a smaller footprint. That required some ingenuity and some engineering and the data air team came up with a solution and they went and modified their product to fit our needs here. The real story with One Wilshire is at the subsystem level, at the cooling system level, it's about economization. This is an energy efficiency story. We had a goal going into this project of saying we wanted to have half the hours out of the year on free cool. Title 24 for building energy efficiency standards has very prescriptive requirements for economization. What you must do to economize during hours of the year. The project was brought to us with a goal of multiplying that benchmark by 62 times. You can get free cooling by using air or free cooling by using water. The advantage to a water-based solution, which is what we went to, was that it's more compact. You can you get more bang for your buck. And so you, we uh, went to a, basically to a central condenser water system. One Wilshire was a unique challenge. And we actively search out those kinds of projects. There was nothing about the early stages that scared us. In fact, there were a number of things that really excited us about this project. Over a process of about a year and a half or two years, our engineers worked with their engineers and continued to try to take our equipment and see how many free cooling hours they could get that equipment to run without operating any compressors. The building has challenges when it comes to putting in the infrastructure required for data centers. So for data centers, you need a lot of electricity, you need a lot of uh, water in order to remove the heat that's generated from that electricity. You need water to take the heat out. In order to, to fit that in, it really has been trying to squeeze into whatever corner we can squeeze it into. Removing elevators in order to run infrastructure up an elevator shaft, for example. Data Air was a good partner in, in terms of uh, helping us develop a solution that would work. Um, I think we all went into this having a, a notion of where we wanted it to go. We weren't sure how far we could take it. So we went through virtually every component in the unit with Swanson Rink. And we optimized those components for energy efficiency so that all those changes, when taken together, allowed us to deliver 72 degree air to the space with 67 degree water from the cooling tower. We have to understand what the goals of the project are. Once we understand those goals, we can ask intelligent questions along the way so that we can counter with our thoughts, add value to the process. That's what integrated project delivery is about in all of its forms, formal and informal. We ended up with, instead of 50% free cooling hours, uh, we ended up delivering 72% free cooling hours of the year. So 260 days a year, they did cooling without running any compressors. And the remaining 105 days of the year, they only had to run the compressors part of the time and they had partial free cooling. In fact, another data center that I built not long ago took a more traditional approach that did not use that uh, data air approach. And I recently spoke with them and after a year of them being in operation, they went on free cooling exactly zero times in the past year. It's a fantastic solution because it gives you more um, efficiency and in CoreSight we're always looking for anything that's more efficient, especially in something that's a, a former carrier hotel. We're happy to have contributed to the path that Swanson Rink led us down with this project. We've grown as a result of this as an organization. I know our team really enjoyed working through the design challenges with Swanson Rink and GI Partners. It's also great to see colo providers like CoreSight take advantage of this solution. The data era was a good partner, helping us develop a solution that would work. Energy economization is good for everyone 
and we're hoping the rest of our industry follows in our path to provide savings to their customers. There's a certain pride that also comes in knowing that you put in a solution that's leading in the industry that others will envy. My peers envy the solution. It's a good feeling.